I see them just walking down the street here. They say New Yorkers have seen it all, but Bronx residents these days are seeing more and more of a particular species, and it ain't at the Bronx Zoo. Jeremy's out with his dog Bamba. He sees them all the time. How many, many have you seen? Uh, at least seven or eight. Um, I've seen one around the size of a German Shepherd. It's coyotes we're talking about, and Fox 5 photojournalist Brenda Rivera recorded this video of a coyote roaming her Riverside neighborhood. Go! Go! Go. The Parks Department says the population has established itself in recent decades and are here to stay, not just in the Bronx, but also in Manhattan and parts of Queens. I'm not concerned in terms of me or him. I am concerned about small dogs. Uh, I'm concerned about the garbage. Obama's 65 pounds. 65 pounds. So I'd say the majority of them are smaller than him. They, they're afraid of him. They don't approach us. Dr. Russell Burke, professor of biology at Hofstra University, says coyotes are here to stay and, in general, are not dangerous for us. They will stay away from people. They're mostly afraid of people. They change their behaviors to avoid people, except where people feed them. So as long as um, you know we can keep people from putting out food for wildlife like coyotes, uh, they will they will give us some space. The Parks Department tells us the coyotes are drawn to food in unsecured garbage bins and are thus recommending residents to use bins that lock, along with mint scented garbage bags, and are warning pet owners to keep their dogs on a leash and nearby. The advice for people is that if you come across a coyote, if it's afar, you can appreciate it from a distance. If it turns its attention to you, to raise your arms or your jacket so you seem bigger. And the experts say whatever you do, do not turn around and run because it kicks in a primal instinct for the coyote. It's going to chase you, and it's faster. In the Bronx, Arthur Chien, Fox 5 News.